Uh, thank you for sticking with us through that unscheduled break. So uh, we are working for <laughs> the work, weekend, apparently. Working for the yeah, we're <laughs> we're we're working on getting another game rolling. And the game that we have decided upon is a RPG Maker game on Steam called Max: An Autistic Journey. Yeah, boy. Uh, that's the name of the game. That's not me slapping something mean down on top of it. This is, this is a title screen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have never played this game before. This is a virgin playthrough like a son of a bitch. I don't know what this game is about. I know nothing about this game. Get those autism emotes ready, <laughs> folks. Get them ready. Shit, can I can I skip this? I don't think so. Oh, fuck, okay. Oh no. Oh no, here here comes the they're news. They're about to give yeah, they're about to drop some truth bombs on them. On the mom and dad. His peculiar accent, his lack of empathy. Oh fuck, dude, this kid's gonna get picked on like Dude picked <laughs> on, he's gonna get his ass beat. <laughs> Upon successes in this game, you have to hand flap. Oh my god. What's that? Doing stuff well, like that. Well, we got half of it done. Yeah. <laughs> Give me $5, I'll do it. His fixation on dinosaurs, great. His rigid behavior and meltdowns. His wandering eyes. His obsession with ponies. <laughs> I went there. <laughs> Hang on. Screenshot that. <laughs> Save that one for later. Seems oh, like no. we have a panic meter. We... <laughs> what, what else would it be? <laughs> I was about to say an autism meter. Because <laughs> oh, it, starts, it starts low. And it's probably going to go up as he needs to... <laughs> Look up, you little shit. Time for breakfast. Guess I'll try to make another one. Max is a 10-year-old boy who is diagnosed with an autism spectrum disorder, or ASD for short. Okay, sure. That's the hot tip. Word on the streets. Learn something new every day. To help Max with his autism, his dad drew him several pictograms like the one on your left. You mean the car that just says number one? <laughs> For a lot of people with an autism spectrum disorder, a fixed routine can be a great source of comfort and security. Max, for example, must perform many daily tasks in a specific order. If his procedure is broken, he will start to feel anxious. If I wanted to play an educational game, I'd go find those old <laughs> PS1 games. The chat is so fucking savage right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna kill Draco over here. In fact, I don't like it when it's dark. It scares me. In fact, Gigi, my father's girlfriend, gave me a black flashlight I could keep all the time, even at school. Well, you can tell they got a divorce over this kid. Great, you have the skill flashlight. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Can't wait to put my points in. Dude, you gotta battle the evil darkness. What? You gotta battle the what? darkness, bro! You gotta battle the darkness. <laughs> Max has a vivid imagination. <laughs> Are you shitting me? If Max, gets, <laughs> if Max gets hurt, he can use the magic <laughs> spell, put some ice on it, <laughs> to make it hurt less. Here you go, Buchito, baby. <laughs> we're, go Ay, Ay, mommy, yeah. we're going to hell so fast. Put me on the express train. First Have class. fun. Okay, he's mad. We gotta take out the wisp. Oh, man. I didn't know it'd be like Earthbound. I wanted to see him go, yeah, like that. <laughs> You cannot comprehend the power of the Max of of Max's imagination. Damn, Max does a shitload of damage. He has a shitload of health. Where's he getting gold from? He got uh, gold? Yeah, he got 150 gold. What is this before Nixon? <laughs> got small juice box. Okay, apple, cherry, or strawberry. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Yeah! yeah! Now we can function like a normal human. Oh my god. 
<laughs> Max needs clear points of reference. Everything has its place, everything in its place. Clutter is a source of anxiety for him as he loses his bearings. His clothing drawers, for example, must comply with his storage rules. Otherwise, it becomes very annoying. Well, oh, fuck you, game. He doesn't just have autism. Why I'm would an 11 year old <laughs> be playing a horror game? Sure, he's autism, he probably doesn't react to jump scares, but still, game, this isn't cool. He doesn't just have autism. It turns out Max also has cancer. Oh, I was gonna say bad taste, <laughs> but yeah, sure. I'm so spooky. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Alert! Alert! Triggered! Help Max find his clothes by exploring the drawer. Oh, okay, I see. There's stuff moving Why around Why did I down become here. in the drawer? <laughs> Why am I in the drawer? He, he has an imagination. In fa he, I know in fact is the thing he says, right? That's his. That's one of his things, that's, that's one of his shit. phrases. Yeah, yeah. Smaller socks than the normal socks in the drawer. What's, what is that down There's there? There's a shirt down there. That's a spider, man. Okay, we don't want to touch the spider. Spooky spiders. Spoopies. It's a spoopy house. <laughs> when the magic starts, the adventure begins. He's amazing and awful at the same time. The some clean underwear with the magic of wind. Son of a bitch. <laughs> See, it's funny because it's a fart joke. A clean T-shirt with the power to provoke. But 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 it's a plain T-shirt. Strong pants you can hit hard. You can that can dance the footloose. Kid, you can't you know. dance footloose. You know. The hot Kevin Bacon dance. Hey, whoa, 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 the footloose. The greatness that is Kevin Bacon. I didn't see what the hoodie power gave me. A hoodie so nice it can paralyze. A game so bad they can't spell. Holy shit, he's tripping out. What's going on? <laughs> I'm a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> good job! <laughs> 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 Why is there a little slime in the living Why are room? there swords in the bar? Well, For this kid with autism to stab people Why with? is there a bar? Can I take the swords? I want to play with the sword. I need to take a poop. Who left food on the floor? In fact, it <laughs> looks like someone sneezed. Oh no. Oh, now look what you've done. You gotta fight My bad. the food on the floor. My bad. Look! Look at us! Things from Dragon shit. Quest. It's literally the it's the it's the embodiment of autism. They're giving off the autism speaks puzzle piece. I want Cheetos. <laughs> in fact, I don't like it in here. It's scary. <laughs> well, too bad, Max. We're gonna make you spend some time in here alone. Oh my God! This kid is insufferable. Jimmy! You have a mustache. Oh my god. This is... This is like 2004 internet humor, like LOL so random. You sure you what didn't smear <laughs> ashes on his fucking cheek? Or his lip? Sake. God damn it. <laughs> sure, tell me a joke. Hey. Oh my god, he doesn't even get knock knock jokes. Little old lady. <sighs> I didn't realize the older brother was. Practicing his dad jokes. Wow, I didn't know the older brother had autism too. It's good. It's good. You know, oh does God. he actually say lol? Yeah, does he? I'm wondering, is, does he, is he actually saying lol? Is he, is he like. I'm afraid to find out. Yeah. I'm gonna go get to second base, excuse me, Max. <laughs> I'm gonna go mack on some chicks. Hell yeah. Now that I got a mustache. And he clearly doesn't get the joke. 
I want to play his Nintendo right here. I want to play Mario Golf. <laughs> That's like a shitty game that an autist would get obsessed with. <laughs> Mario Golf. <laughs> Not Super Mario 64. <laughs> not Paper not, Mario. Not, yeah, not Paper, not Mario RPG. Fucking Mario Golf. <laughs> Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Oh my god. This is like, I mean, I get that it's educational, but it's just breakfast. That fucking smile just says... You know he's saying that through his teeth. Yeah. That's great, son. Eat your breakfast. <laughs> oh yeah, cool. You're getting old, you geezer. Poor Jimmy. He can't even go through puberty without his brother <laughs> being a fucking autist. Oh, and suddenly you're a master pianist? Yep. Check this out. I can play it and not even have to be there. <laughs> Fucking autism. I have to prepare- I have to prepare for school! With the backpack from Dora the Explorer. Oh my god. The need for compartmentalization. All his things go- for school go in a school bag and not elsewhere. The toy blocks are in the toy box. He's fucking ten. The coloring pencils go in the coloring pencil case. Max will become anxious if different foods on his plate are touching. I used to have that problem when I was a kid. Then I fucking grew up. I still don't like my food touching. <laughs> Maybe you have autism. Yeah, Did you ever think you. about that? No, I don't. I just don't like my food touching. Yeah, you've got the tism. You got a little touch of the tism. I don't got a little touch of the tism. Trust, trust Super Jail says, I was about to ask why an educational game about autism uses an out of place RPG battle system, but then I remembered autism. Oh, this is the first floor, so there's... So the the middle floor is... This the is the first yeah, floor. ground floor. They, the kids sleep in the basement. Of course. I w if, if I had a kid like him, oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, he calms back down when he goes and sees all of his toys. Oh no! The King of Monsters and his friends took my school bag hostage! Kid, we're late for school, hurry up. They moved it to the secret cathedral of dark magic. Oh my god. Oh no, we actually went to a secret palace? We went to a cathedral of darkness. Uh, I had a vivid imagination growing up, but nothing like this. Hand it over, Godzilla! Listen here, Godzuki, you son of a bitch. <laughs> John Constantine, that was good. The Autist, an unexpected journey. <laughs> Hit him with some wind. Do it. Keep on. Oh shit, that didn't, that didn't do near enough damage. Oh my god, we're gonna be here forever. I agree, Fandermine. I sympathize with Jimmy, just going, dude, why are you standing in a circle of all your toys? Because he's probably just like this in the room. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's in his room and he's just in a he's just in a fucking T pose right now. <laughs> Surrounded by like dinosaurs. <laughs> and like some of them are knocked over. <laughs> like his leg just comes out and touches it down. Dude, you almost got him, man. I got him this turn. You got it, you got it. You, oh, oh you missed. Oh shit. Da, 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 How dare you put that actual oh. good to Cola? <laughs> Shout outs to Cola. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, just standing in the circle. Oh my god. Isn't is okay, is it autism and Asperger's where they cling to one thing and they just yeah. know everything about it? Well, Asperger's, I know with Asperger's in particular, they do. Asperger's syndrome is a, is a subset of autism spectrum disorder. Okay, okay. And I think in in U.S. medical documentation, the term Asperger's has been deprecated. 
So now it's just autism spectrum disorder oh, it's across like a whole the whole yeah. thing. Okay, okay. Other other countries still use the term the terminology as Aspergers. Okay. See, that's what they mean. He's he's right. Okay. Now I know. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. In, in fact, I have to go to the bathroom. God. There's but there's one right this there. One. Oh, he's gotta go to his bathroom. Does that mean he holds it in all day? That means he has an autistic fit if he can't go to the to the right shitter. His dad is like, I don't have any I have one son that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as terrible as that sounds. <laughs> I can just hear it in my mind. He's, he's, <laughs> he's so autistic, he's about to phase out of existence. I'm interfacing. <laughs> I don't want to go to the right bathroom. I want to go to the bathroom downstairs. <laughs> Oh, I want to piss myself! He's fidgeting so hard, he's gonna have a bowel movement. He's gonna turn in, he's gonna transcend into a fidget spinner. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to school. <laughs> Max really likes his school. He's part of a special class of only <laughs> seven or eight students. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing too hard because my cousin literally got her doctorate in special education. So, so Julie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I have to take the piss out of this game. When, when I was, when, when I was in high school, the art room was directly across from special education, mm -hmm. and every once in a while, we'd hear a. <laughs> okay, okay. I knew where it was in my school, and for some reason they gave such little of a shit that there was a PS1 hooked up to a TV on rollers. They just, oh, they, shit, they just let them play games all day. They're like, we don't give a fuck anymore. Damn. <laughs> there was one kid who was all he was all messed up, and he walked kind of awkward. But his main rhetoric was, "Yo, mama, suck my balls." <laughs> And that's how he responded <laughs> to everything. <laughs> you tell, you're telling me about this guy who's physically handicapped, and I'm, I'm, I'm half expecting you to say something endearing about him. No. And instead he's like, yo mama sucked my balls. 